Oh hey, it's Emily and it is time to do a summer TBR. So in my last TBR video, I'll link that below in case you're curious, I drew some fairy loot tarot cards that have a prompt on each one. And I picked out some tarot cards that would in general allow me to pick at least, I had a whole bunch of books that I'm excited for and I picked some tarot cards that I would be able to work with and I picked a good number of tarot cards I could work with and pick some from there and that would be the theme for a reading vlog. I want to do something similar but I want to give myself a little bit of flexibility so I once again have picked a bunch of these beautiful fairy loot tarot cards and again they've got a prompt on each one just a little sticker to give a prompt for each one and I have a whole bunch of books, obviously, that I'm interested in reading over the summer. I have some high priority fictions on my TBR that I haven't read yet up on that top shelf or above the bookshelf. And there are a couple of projects, and a couple of things that I know I would like to do over the summer. So this will be a TBR for maybe two or three months and we'll kind of cover a good chunk of the summer and I'll have some prompts that will determine some things that I read. I'll have some flexibility to do some projects that I would like to if they don't come up in the tarot cards and just have a little bit of room as well to just mood read, pick some different things that I would like to read in the moment and go with it. And in the last one, when I picked these cards, I said that I would do a reading vlog and read, you know, three, four, maybe five books for each prompt and make a whole themed reading vlog out of it. And I still might do that. I, I want to give myself a little bit of flexibility as far as what I decide to do. So I will do some sort of video associated with each of the tarot cards that I'm about to draw. I just don't know if it'll be a full three to four books for each one. It might just be a 24 hour or 48 hour reading vlog where I pick one book for that theme and then film a reading vlog around it or who knows, I'll incorporate it in some way into a video, but I'm not sure yet how I want to do that. And anyway, so I'm gonna draw cards first and see if the cards will allow me to fit in some projects and some vlogs I know I want to do over the summer. And if they do, great. If not, that's cool too. That's why I'm giving myself time and some flexibility so that I can have some mystery to my TBR, but also make sure that I get to some things that I really just want to get to and allow myself to mood read just a little bit. So I'm just very poorly shuffling some of these cards here. And I feel like, I feel like that'll be good enough. I think I'm gonna pick four cards this time. So we will just pick, do this one, this one, this one, and the last one. Okay, well, let's see what I've drawn. So I have, ooh, short reads. So this could easily be I don't know if it's actually gonna be legible. Anyway, short reads. This could easily be a nice, lovely reading vlog of just reading as many short reads as I can in maybe a 24, 48 hour period. Who knows? Uh, but short reads, so that'll help get through a few of the short things I have on my TBR. Science fiction is the next one. So that will definitely, I've got quite a few sci-fis up there actually, so that'll really, really help. And then I've got continue a series. This will actually be perfect because there are so many series that I am in the middle of that I want that I want to continue. And let's see if we can fantasy. So sci-fi and fantasy are my two two most read genres, and I've got plenty of both up here. So that'll really help. And again, so many series and so many short reads that I would like to continue. So that will definitely help with some of these. There are, as I mentioned, a couple of projects 
that I will be working on. One is a reading around the world challenge that I'm doing with Kim from Expedition Through Pages. I will put the announcement video down below. Our first country is Cambodia. I'm very excited. And we have four books that we would like to read for Cambodia. And I talk about these in that intro video that I will link below, so I'm very briefly going to go over these. We wanted to have some sort of history to provide some context and help contextualize everything else that we would be reading. So we have a history, we have some folk stories, which I'm incredibly excited to just explore folk stories uh, from around the world. I think that would be fantastic. So we have that. And we also wanted some sort of real world experience, maybe an autobiography, biography, memoir, something of the sort. Um, so we have the elimination. And so that's going to be our memoir and then we also wanted some sort of fiction as well thrown in there and so the governor's daughter is a murder mystery that we wanted to include in there so these four are definitely going to be high on my priority list coming up i suppose i should also talk about the books i'm currently reading <laughs> that might help so my current audiobook is Groundbreaker by victoria aviard she's the author of the red queen series which i just had a fun time with and so I wanted to check out her new series. So I'm listening to that on audio right now. I also have Inherit the Stars by James P. Hogan that I literally just read a couple of pages last night. So I've just started this. This is a sci-fi where they discuss, they being some folks who are exploring another planet, discover a skeleton and the history of when that skeleton should have logically been there doesn't match how old the skeleton actually is, I think. I, I don't know. I'm just starting it. There's only a brief description on the back, so. But that's a current read. So, the next one that will be a priority after that one is Illusionary by Zareed Cordova. This is the second book after Incendiary. And that's a fantasy, a young adult fantasy series involving people with different kinds of magic, including our main character who has a magic involving memory. And the people in charge of trying to kill off people with magic. She was actually kidnapped when she was a kid um, because the people in charge wanted to keep at least one person at, with each type of magic to use their magic to help them kill other people with magic. And there is potentially a new weapon that has been discovered. She was actually rescued by the rebellion, but there's been a new weapon that's been discovered that might aid the people in charge in their efforts to kill people with magic. And so she's going to go back undercover into the palace, go back and see if she can uncover information about that weapon. Uh, the first one was a lot of fun, and so I have the second one here as well. Uh, so these are going to be super helpful. I'm going to determine what I do with these later. Um, so I can talk about a few of the things that match those that are high on my priority list. As far as continuing a series, I've read the first book in the Grisha trilogy. So I'd like to continue the Grisha trilogy and continue on with the Six of Crows duology and of course watch the show. So that could be a possibility and that series follows its, uh, well the original trilogy follows Alina who is someone who discovers that she has a magical ability and needs to use that ability to help her kingdom and she gets um, goes to the palace get to get trained in her ability to hopefully use it to help her kingdom where things get complicated series continues from there um, I also as far as series continuation would like to continue on with the Broken Earth trilogy so that'll be another possibility and that's by M.K. Jemison. I have read the first one um, which is right here, the fifth season. And so I'd like to continue with The Obelisk Gate and The Stone Sky. And this one follows a world where there are tremors in the earth and they happen a lot. They're a group of people with magic who have the ability to help contain these tremors, but their magic is very feared. You follow a few characters uh, one who's discovering that she has this magical ability, one who's a little bit older, has been trained in this magic and is discovering things about this world, including a, something about a mysterious obelisk that I assume will be further explored in the obelisk gate. And another woman who is a mother whose son was killed and daughter was kidnapped by her husband, and so she is trying to find her husband and her daughter so that she can rescue her daughter. 
which doesn't really do the series justice. Those are just some very basic things about the plot, but the first book was incredible. Um, so I'm very excited to continue on with there or with that series. I also would love to do a pirate book themed vlog. So Treasure Island could definitely be one to fit on that as well as continuing the Live Ship Trader series by uh, by Robin Hobb. I started the first one in the start a series vlog from my last TBR and I'm very anxious to continue. Um, so I would love to continue on with that series, read Treasure Island and find another pirate themed book. Uh, so that could definitely be a good option there. I also would like to keep up with fairy loots and so this is the latest fairy loot. Um, this is the gorgeous artwork. This is the prison healer and this one follows a woman who again has magic and is in a prison and I assume is the prison's healer or I'm pretty sure that's what the synopsis said but it would make sense based on the title. And there is a queen or some sort of important figure that is coming to the prison and needs to compete in some sort of event. And in order to keep that important figure safe, our main character enters on her behalf, I think. Not too sure of the details because uh, I only read the synopsis a while ago, but I want to keep up with fairy loots. So that will definitely be high on my priority list as well. I also need to return this to my brother. <laughs> I thought I took this back with me uh, home when I was home for the pandemic or during a good chunk of the pandemic and I, I, I did not end up taking it with me unfortunately and so now that I'm back in my apartment around the rest of my books I would like to read this so that I can return it to my brother. This is some sort of Arthurian legend retelling. I haven't even read the synopsis so I don't actually know what it's about. I just know it's based on Arthurian legend and that my brother liked it and wanted me to read it. So so I feel like that is a good glimpse into my reading for the next few months. I at least talked about some of these and some things that will be uh, possibilities for at least most of these cards. I could pull out a bunch of my shorter reads. I've actually done a short reads on my TBR list. I did it a while ago, so I've read maybe half of them if I remember what's actually on that list and what I've read. So I'll link that below. I'm actually probably going to rewatch that video <laughs> and see what's on there and see what I mentioned or just look around and see some other short reads on my TBR. I know, I know these books were on that list, I'm pretty sure. The Pebble in the Dark series by Anthony Bodding. And so, you know, I could, I could work with these. Anyway, lots of options for short reads as well, but I think that's a good glimpse into what my TBR is going to be over the next few months. And I will of course be doing vlogs or something where I kind of show some of these reads. I'll be doing recent reads to catch you up on everything else that's not in a vlog um, so that you know what I'm reading over the next few months. And then I think my next TBR will be one going into the fall and there will probably be less mystery involved with that one because I have a whole host of books for fall time reads that I'm excited for. Anyway. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of any of the books that I have planned. And I will be sure to link my Twitter and Instagram link down below. That's where I like to hang out. I will also leave more information for how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.